the 2024 Royal Mint Gold Britannia coin has been released. But is it really worth trading up from the 2023 Britannia? Hello, future investors, and welcome back to another weekly episode. I've got a wicked video today. Tavex Bullion have sent me another package, and it's got a 2024 one ounce gold britannia inside so i'm not going to beat around the bush because i can't fit it in fit it in camera i'm going to open it off shot here which you can hear me doing and i'm going to pull this beauty straight out for you guys to see now i believe lovely piece from tavex as always in the packaging i believe i am going to be the very first person on youtube to review one of these pieces let's have a look at this beautiful piece okay here we go here it is the 2024 one ounce gold Britannia. Holy moly. Now that just looks amazing in a coin capsule. That really does. It kind of makes me regret buying them in the blister cards. I just love the way they're just singly on their own. And they're, they're just really cool in capsules in my opinion. I think they're really great for content shooting. They're a lot more movable. Um, and they just look so fantastic in pla plastic capsules. You can really see how this is brand new in a brand new capsule. Absolutely stunning. Now, behind this brand new 2024 Gold Release Britannia, I have got a 2023 Gold Britannia, which also features King Charles on the reverse. No, it doesn't. This is a Queen Elizabeth. But OK, let's mix the two up. Um, so, yeah, you've got Queen Elizabeth here from 2023 and the new King Charles 2024 piece. Now, that's actually quite a pivotal point in the video because this is actually the first series in the year, the first coin, if you like, that's never going to feature Queen Elizabeth on. This is the very first Britannia of a new year that is created since her passing. So it's quite iconic, really, because even the 2023 Britannias had a mixture of King Charles and Queen Elizabeth. But going forward from 2024, they are all, for the period of time that King Charles is king, are going to feature King Charles. If you're still watching at this point in the video, maybe you'll consider watching a little further. Now I've got this coin in natural daylight because I thought you may want to see a real perspective of what, of what this beauty looks like outside of a capsule in real daylight. Like I said, if you're watching this far into the video, consider watching till the end because I've got a special announcement that you may want to see. Now, it's a beautiful piece from Tavex Bullion, but I've got to say, I am a little bit dis in the, disappointed in the Royal Mint for not bringing out a consistent crowned King Charles. I know there is a coronation King Charles crowned Britannia. I know that before you go running to the comments saying, well, there is a King Charles with a crown on. I understand. But in my personal opinion, as a stacker, as an investor, especially of someone who invests in precious metals, I think they made a mistake, really, and I think King Charles should feature a crown on all of his pieces. He's the King of England, after all, and that is extremely symbolic. Now, if you want to purchase this from Tavex Balloon, it's live on their website right now. They decided to send me this so you guys could see the very first 2024 Britannia review. And I'm so pleased they did because it's absolutely stunning. It's around £1,571 on Tavex Bullion's website. It's actually a very good time to consider buying Gold Bullion because the price at the moment is slightly down. Now, the security benefits of the 2024 One Ounce Gold Britannia remain the same and they remain fantastic as always. It's got effortless authentication by Philip Nathan's Britannia and it's got many anti-counterfeiting technologies embedded in this coin. One of them specifically is the padlock feature that you can see turning to a trident back to a padlock. Very, very cool feature. It makes the technology of the coin something special because it's actually got a moving element to it. Not only that, but to make a replica that's non-genuine of this coin would be extremely difficult because of the wave designs in the background. Not only is it bouncing off between brushed and mirrored between the two interior and exterior of the coin, the actual design of the waves 
has a sort of embossed feel to it. So really, really popular with these Britannia coins. I think that's why globally they're becoming much more recognised, especially in places like the United States. Because over here in the United Kingdom, of course, it's the UK's gold standard bullion coin. But I think it really is starting to show its benefits all around the world. The more content creators I watch in the state side, the more I'm starting to see them talk about the British Gold Britannia. Now, um, I do think gold is a good investment, but the question lies, is it worth buying the 2023 piece or moving on from buying 2023 coins and going into the 2024 pieces? Well, as we know, gold is a very good investment. Historically, figures show gold is very safe. It's increased by over 500% between the years 2000 and 2020. That's a fantastic yield on a very safe investment where you have to worry about little to no risk. It's also a fantastic store of wealth. I've heard many people say that they struggle keeping money in the bank. So gold is a great venue for them because it locks capital into an asset that's going to appreciate and look after their wealth. But it's also not really allowing them to easily access that cash because it's locked into an asset that they don't want to liquidate while losing the benefit of storing their money in an asset like gold bullion. Not only that, we know gold is a fantastic hedge against inflation. It really is. I mean, we know historically when things like Russia invading Ukraine, the fuel crisis, the energy crisis, more so in the UK, has really affected the cost of living standard. Gold bullion proves to be one of those features that really holds itself against the inflation and the cost of living. It's a very good time, in my opinion, to consider adding bullion to your stack. Silver, that's a different topic. I think it's a lot more volatile while having separate benefits from gold. But if you're looking to store wealth in an asset that's going to protect you and look after your capital against inflation while preserving your wealth, gold bullion for me is the absolute king. So the answer to the question for me is, should you buy 2024 one ounce gold Britannias? And the answer from me is yes. There's no doubt in my mind. I do think going forward, I will continue to buy the newer year pieces as they come out while holding the older pieces in my stack. For example, 2022, 2023, moving on to 2024 and above. And who knows what could happen with King Charles. And after that, Prince William could become king or Prince George. Who knows? So lots of things can happen in the next few decades. So I think it's great to have one of every year, at least if you can. I do understand that an ounce of gold is a vast amount of money for the majority of people, even for investors. It's not that easy to get a hold of while, you know, especially there's a cost of living crisis. So you could, in fact, maybe move on to something like quarter ounce Britannia's like I've got here. A really, really happy medium when it comes to fractional gold. You're kind of getting a real happy medium between those high premiums on one gram gold bars to those uh, expensive prices for, you know, maybe a one ounce gold bullion coin. So you can still pick up 2024 Britannia's, maybe just in smaller form. So, yeah, very awesome pieces. I think in the future, I'll definitely be picking up some 2024 one ounce pieces because I've already purchased several of my one ounce pieces in the blister card. I think I'll continue to do so just to keep my OCD in check for keeping the um, the similarities of matching my stacking purchases. But I don't think there's anything wrong with just going for the capsule piece either. So yeah, a very, very stunning piece. A huge thank you to Tavex Bullion. You can actually use my discount code at Tavex Bullion. It's future investments. The code for that is in the description of this video and it's on selected gold and silver bullion only. Unfortunately, right now, it's not on these one ounce 2024 gold Britannias, but who knows, it might be in the future. But definitely worth checking out in the description below. And a big shout out to the channel members. You guys make up to 14% of the channel revenue. It really does mean a lot, and I appreciate your support. If you are a channel member, you will know that I've recently revealed a full stack and portfolio reveal for channel members only. I went into vast detail of my entire precious metals holding, my entire savings and my entire holdings for my index funds. So if you want to see that, consider becoming a channel member where you can get all those extra perks and you can see my entire portfolio.
Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your support and I look forward to seeing you all in the very next episode. Bye bye, guys.